Hey everyone, Chandler here, and it has been a hot minute since I have filmed an informational video about identities, so that is what we're going to do today. So this video is going to be about asexual spectrum identities. So first things first, I'm going to have to tell you what exactly is asexual in order to really show what these identities have in common. Asexual means the lack of sexual attraction and to counter that, in the asexual community there is a word for basically not asexual or experiencing sexual attraction called allosexual. So basically you have allosexual, you have asexual, and anywhere in between is gray asexual, meaning experiencing some sexual attraction sometimes maybe or experiencing so little sexual attraction that it's pretty much so small of an amount that it really doesn't make a difference. Now that I've explained what asexual, allosexual, and gray asexual is, it's time to get into the more specific identities that there are. The first one that I'm going to talk about is demisexual. Now demisexual means that you do not experience sexual attraction at all until there is an extremely strong bond with someone. So this could be like you have been romantically interested in someone and you have never experienced sexual attraction before ever and suddenly you experience sexual attraction with them. It's not just like, hmm, I want to get to know this person better before I think of doing anything or being physical with them or whatever. It's not like that. It's literally a complete lack of sexual attraction. Complete lack. Until someone is very, very, very close. There's a very strong bond. Now the opposite of that is frasexual. Now what this is, is basically this is how sexual attraction fades after initially meeting someone. So it's like you see someone on the street and you're like, wow, I'm sexually attracted to that person. But upon meeting them, the attraction goes away. It's not like oh, I've met them and they have a bad personality, now I don't want to do anything. It's really a, the opposite of demisexual in the sense that there was sexual attraction and then it's just gone after. The next identity that I'm going to talk about is cupiosexual. Wanting a sexual relationship but not experiencing sexual attraction. So maybe you would love to do these things but you just don't experience sexual attraction whatsoever. Now a lot of um, people who identify as asexual don't want to do anything sexual whatsoever and so cupiosexual the way it differs is that maybe they would want to do it but they just don't feel any sexual attraction but they are not sex repulsed. Now what sex repulsed means is pretty much exactly what it sounds like it means. It means completely repulsed of sexual activity you don't want to do it, you think it's gross, and you're repulsed by it. Sex repulsed. Okay. The next thing um, is lithosexual. This is experiencing sexual attraction but not wanting it reciprocated. So what that means is that maybe you experience the attraction but you're still very sex repulsed. You don't like the idea of people being sexually attracted to you. You don't like the idea of engaging in things. Uh, the next one is autochorosexual, which has another name, which is um, agiosexual, and I apologize if I mispronounce these words. This means that there is a disconnection between oneself and the sexual target of arousal. So what that means is basically, say you are watching or reading something with sexually explicit material. Now this could be like the idea of you yourself don't want to be put in that situation, but the idea of it doesn't necessarily gross you out. So maybe the idea of two people engaging in sexual acts doesn't like disturb you or that you are aroused in that when you see that or when you read about that, but you yourself do not want to be involved in that. The next one is abrosexual, which means that the orientation fluctuates between different orientations. So like the actual attraction that you feel could fluctuate this sexual orientation, it does 
fluctuate. So maybe one day you feel more sexual attraction, but then the next day you feel absolutely none whatsoever. Um, it could fluctuate anywhere between allosexual and asexual. So anywhere in the gray space is where you could fluctuate and gray asexual in itself doesn't really imply that um, fluctuation, it just kind of implies that you're in the gray space, you're somewhere in the, in the middle. And um, that is actually how I identify. I identify as gray asexual, meaning that there is such, for me, there is such little sexual attraction that it really doesn't make much of a difference. And then the last thing that I'm going to add is apothesexual which means someone who identifies as asexual and who is sex repulsed. So this would mean someone who has claimed the word asexual as themselves and then they are also sex repulsed. So there are some asexual people that are not sex repulsed, they just don't experience sexual attraction, but then there are other people who identify as asexual and don't experience sexual attraction and also the idea of sex absolutely repulses them, grosses them out, and they don't really feel that comfortable thinking about it, talking about it, anything to do with it. No one who is on the asexual spectrum should feel ashamed to identify as such. So if you also identify on the asexual spectrum, comment down below. That'd be awesome to meet other people who identify with the asexual spectrum. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook, which I never use, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, Snapchat, um, all those wonderful links will be down below as well as the address to my P.O. Box, which reminds me I'm going to make a P.O. Box video soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I have a lot of mail that's been building up, and I'm sorry I haven't gotten around to making a video yet. Ah, oh, okay, but I will, <laughs> and um, I will see you all soon. Okay. Bye! My hair is really curly. I curled it. Doesn't it look nice? Like, I think it looks pretty cute.